Hello and welcome to a new video about the Internet of Things. These are the things we used. Huh? Arduino, our ESP to connect the Arduino with a special program to connect the Arduino to our ThingWorks platform. Huh? This we've done. And now what we want to do, we want to measure things and put this into our class thing. Yeah. This is the this is the NTC. We'll measure the temperature with it. This we say is the glass temperature. Yeah. Therefore we need a little bit this this other this 10K uh, resistor and the level of the glass we're going to measure with this device here. Yeah. This is the uh, level sensor, this, this ultrasonic level sensor, uh, distance sensor. And this we are going to use to measure the distance. So these things we want to use. Uh. First I will apply simply plus and minus 3 to 3 volt and, and, and ground. And here I will again use 2 and 3 for the software serial part. Uh. So two and three are the software serials. Yeah. So this is connected. Hmm. Then we are going to build here our temperature measurement, which is basically a voltage divider. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. There's a separate video about this one. So here we are measuring analog input zero. We will take simply, yeah. And uh, here we have plus side, five volt. Here we are at ground. Of course, I need to get the 5 volts here. Get them over to here. Yeah. And I need to get the ground here. Get it also over to here. Is this in? I don't know. Yes. Should be. Should be. Okay, this one yeah. we will also connect. So there is ground, VCC, echo and trigger pin. Connected, yeah. So uh, VCC will go to 5 volt and ground to minus. I will simply also plug it in here. Clickety clackety, 5 volt. And here the yellow one is the trigger pin and the trigger pin I will simply stick to this will be 3, 2, 3, 4, 4. Yellow is four, and the other one is, come on, and the other one is five. So this is now my measurement device, okay? Maybe I should do it. Yeah, this is how this looks like. Huh? Temperature measurement, level measurement, the actual content can be calculated inside the control and this all this data is going to ESP. ESP shall put this to, to the ThingWorks server. Okay. Well, so this is the hardware setup. Huh? Two measurements. There are two separate videos about this, NTC and end level sensor, you can watch it also. Uh, this here was a brief reconstruction. And now let's come to the software. Okay. 
So it's going to work anyway, exactly like we did it with the MQTT. Okay. This means I have a an, an library written, which is communicating with the ESB. Okay. It's handling the communication, so we don't have to take care about this. You can download the calling library under this video. Yeah? And you just have to copy this library into the Arduino libraries folder. This I'm going to do here right now. It's called ESB ThingWorks Gateway. This the other one was the ESB MQTT Gateway, and this is the ESB ThingWorks Gateway. Yeah? You can also have a look at the code and so on. Like before, it is not that sophisticated, yeah? and it is not working flawless. Yeah? However, it is working, and it is easy enough or simple enough to enable you to understand it. Okay, so let's start coding. Book. Let's start coding. Save a new thing under a decent name. Yeah. Now we are at 52. Whoa. Fifty-three TV thing works. Save. I'll put this code also as download on the other thing. Yeah, under the video. Of course, I need to have includes. Yeah? Include hashtag hashtag include in Include. I will simply copy this right just now. Yeah, and we need the software serial .h again. Yeah. Then we are including this ESP thing works gateway .h. Yeah, this is this library, and we are again using this timeout. I will also place the timeout library. I have it already installed here from last time. I will also place this timeout library here. Okay. So then we are defining some pins. Define. There's the trigger pin. Number four. Yeah. Then we do have the echo pin. This was number five. Yeah. Remember the hardware setup. Yeah. And uh, then we have, uh, we will need the speed of sound. And this is 343.0 meters per second. And define the distance from our sensor, the thought distance from our sensor to the bottom of the glass. Okay, max dist and this, I say it's 25 centimeters. This would be, this would be. Yeah. Then, of course, I have the software serial yeah, as ESP port again, and this is RX. TX pins, yeah. I, will, I have not defined them right now. I have not defined them. Then I have the ESB ThingWorks gateway. ESB ThingWorks gateway. Yeah. So that's the TWX client. ESP thing works thing works gateway okay yeah. and then we have timeout yeah. change data this timeout value I will again use to uh, not always send information but only once in a while and this once in a while I will use every 500 milliseconds okay 
timeout 500 good yeah like in the last program we have used yeah? simply file open we programs and there is the there is the weather station active buzzer interrupt io remote stepper distance here it is distance distance here this is open i will simply use the same get duration yeah. this is the get duration this reads the duration how many microseconds the ultrasonic impulse is is using and here i use a little bit more uh, around, uh. in setup back what do i do here yeah i'll serial dot begin i will use the serial and this time i will use maximum baud rate maximum permitted baud rate uh. then as information that we started, I will print yeah, a thing works tester is starting up. This should be the first line we read on the serial monitor. Yeah? Then I will use the pin mode for the trigger pin. This shall be an output and the pin mode for the for the echo pin. This shall be an input. Okay. Having that, yeah. then I will use TVX client is new ESP is actually this. ThingWorks Gateway yeah? and I will place the we have to tell the ESP port yeah? so the serial software serial port where to reach and we also have to tell uh, the address of the debug port serial that we get information out of this out of this yeah? ESP ThingWorks Gateway and then uh, we already said 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 <laughs> we will set a verbose level yeah and first we will set everything simply 16 plus 32 plus 64 plus 128 all possible verbose outputs we will get with this so the, the, the library is simply talking a lot to us then we can read in the serial monitor what is going on okay i will also uh, write a, a function called get uh, distance and here we're using unsigned long duration. From the duration, this function shall calculate the distance. Yeah? Or I will simply call it get level. This is good. I want, want to calculate the distance. I want to already calculate the level. Okay. So how is this how is this working huh? if duration is not zero huh? if i get zero duration i know okay something is wrong if duration is not zero i will simply uh, say return max dist yeah, the distance minus duration multiplied by speed of 
sound divided by 20,000. Why is that? Yeah. Because it's 10,000 actually. Yeah. To, to get to from microseconds to centimeters. 20,000 because it's traveling twice the length. So that's, that's it. Huh? Get level. Good. Else return max test. Now we're getting the level. In the loop, in the loop, there is a uh, float level, and I will simply write call here get level, and I have to the duration get duration. Ah, this is now different spelling. I will use this. I think it looks nicer. Get duration. Now a level shall be the written the level. Yeah? And now I also read the temperature. So there is a float temp equals. And this we have discussed at the NTC program. Yeah? And now it comes a really long complicated formula. Yeah? Logarithm of 10,000, zero, multiplied by 1,024, divided by analog read, zero, so the analog value, mm -hmm. minus one. This is one, and then I do have another formula. Yeah. I will simply copy this. That's this. So this is complicated. Now in level there is the level. Now in temp there is the temp. Okay. Should be, should be. Okay, the only thing which I have to deal now with is, uh, you know, all those, all those data, SSID, passwords, and so on. Yeah? And I will simply copy the whole strings here. Yeah? Oh, I will write them. Yeah? I will make global variables. Yeah? So there's a string, SSID. You have to put the SSID from your Wi-Fi network. Yeah? There's the string pass. You have the password from your Wi-Fi network. Okay? Then there is the string for ThingWorks host. Yeah? This is the host of Of thing works. Yeah. Then we need the app key. This app key I will simply I will simply copy from here. Application key. Yes, log on. Copy. Yeah. I don't want to type this. Looks complicated, right? And then there's the string. There's the thing name. Thing. I will also copy this. Uh, there's the thing. This is the thing name. Copy this. Write this here. That's it. Okay. That's it. And now, in my loop program, I just have to be sure that this is transferred to the ESP 
if tvx client Wi-Fi SSID transferred if not of course yeah if not transferred yeah then tvx client set Wi-Fi SSID and use the string. The same we'll do now for Wi-Fi pass. It's pretty much the same thing we did on the uh, MQTT program, right? Then host transferred, yeah, if not TVX client thing works host transferred TVX client set thing works host tvx hosts the correct string okay then app key transferred id if of course if not think we are host thing works host but app key transferred yeah set app key And here we have app key. Okay. And now if not DVX client thing transferred. tvx client set thing now we're setting the thing and now we set the value names tvx client set value name zero class temp. We'll just try this class temp first. Yeah. And we will set the threshold value of 0 and this shall be 0 0.2. Okay. Okay. Now we have set everything in, the, in our library. The library is transferring this to the ESP, hopefully. Yeah. And, well, the rest is TVX client. We again have an update yeah, so that we can handle this communication with the ESP. It's done here in this update. And then, of course, we need to transfer the data. Yeah? And here I just I'm just using this change data. Yeah? Change data. Hey, this is written wrong, spelled wrong. You don't say anything, yeah. Let me write here and don't mention timed out. Yeah? Change data to hand out, yeah. pack pack. So 500 milliseconds are gone. Yeah. And if, if the client is connected, thing works connected.
then we set the value dvx client set value 0 and it's called temp. We will set temp. Okay, and change data. We say set now. Then every 500 milliseconds we will do this. And we will also write something on the serial monitor. Ah. Ah. Let's don't write anything on the serial monitor. Let's see what the, what the, what the Thingworks client is putting out. Huh? Okay. Save. Always a good idea. Verify. I guess there will be something inside. I even think trigger pin is not defined. That's correct. Check. Speed of sound. <laughs> sound. Speed of sound. Check. Yeah, we have the wrong board. Of course, now it's an Arduino Uno. And also in the library something is wrong, so I will open the library. Uh, get timeout value. There's a typo. This was before. This was before. The other way. You know? I've I've updated the the timeout library, and now I have troubles here. Yeah? Find, find. Okay. Now it should work. You should if you have. Uh, Why is this not working? Have I opened the wrong? No. Should be correct. Ah, so, ooh, <laughs> this is also a teachable mode. You know what happened? With this, I have opened this here, yeah? with the Arduino. Ah, yegale, ah, yegale, ah, yegale. Yeah? So in programs and my Arduino, this thing works. I have this ESP thing works gateway now in. I will delete this here. Yeah? Thingworks Gateway, here in the library, there is still the same. I have to update the library, of course. This is tricky, right? So this I will keep in, that you know that this is not working. Perfect. Get Tim. See, there is still the error. There is still the error. File, save. Back. Now I've updated the library. This one. 
Now it should work. See? <laughs> this one. Okay, verify. Upload. COM5 is wrong. Port. Of course, I have to connect. I have to connect. Bing. Connect. Yeah. Upload. There's a lot, a lot of things gone wrong now. But it seems now it is working. Set thing to yeah, app key class temp. Could not connect, not found, not connected. Finding ESP found. Okay, ESP can be found. Twenty nine. Okay, it seems like we are connected. Seems like we are connected. Let's see. Refresh. Twenty dot six eight. Twenty one. Twenty eight. Twenty nine. It is working, ladies and gentlemen. You see, we are now transferring data from our Arduino to the ESP. The ESP has successfully connected to the ThingWorks platform and ThingWorks is now displaying the temperature which is measured here. Yeah? So now I have live data in my thing. Yeah? Finally. Yeah? So if you are using, I will upload of course the correct library, if you are using the correct library with the corrected library and so on, where Timeout and ESP ThingWorks Gateway work together, yeah, like it is now, you, you can do this, yeah? you can do this, it is working, yeah? so you see, it's just Bringing live data to our thing. Internet of Things. Yeah, live. Now we are live. Yeah. This is happening here. And at the same point in time, I get this information on my ThingWorks instance. I like it. Huh? Next time, we want to have a look uh, on a so called mashup. Meshup is something like a dashboard, it's usually called also, uh, where all those values can be seen. Yeah? This one can easily be extended with the level and so on. Yeah? You can do this, you have to do this for your training. And then we'll do, in the next video, we will do a mashup. Okay? We will display the data on a, on a web page. Yeah, then we can touch it and do not have to press this, this refresh button again. Yeah? We will simply see it live. Huh? This then will be the next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.